Hello and welcome all. Let's get started. Today we bring Nimlity a screener for trading view. Let's see what all it has. As you know, trading view has become extremely popular and more and more strategies have been coded for Nimlity A on trading view. Over here, today we present a live screener which can screen bullish and bearish stocks. It would work on a stock list or a watch list which is prepared by you. So you can have n number of stocks whichever you want to be screened across various strategies as per Nimbler TA. It will work on all time frames right from few seconds to hours to minutes as well as for days and months. It would give a real time analysis, provide information live on screen for which you can have guidance during your trade. Simple swift screening what else do we need it includes impulse screener icmc breakout screener tiny ic screener open analysis screener gap analysis screener candle count psr trespassing cci momentum swing and open peak screener so there are multiple screeners this is a list of all the screeners which are now available in just one trading view indicator which is nimbler ta screener now let's get started with the live demo over here on my screen let me increase it yeah so over here on my screen i have applied nimbler ta screener along with this there are some other screeners but as of now my interest is only towards this and cci i keep it on since mostly my work is related to cci and uh, that is something which we relate to during our trades over here if you click the settings button you would see screener logic it it can be bull or bear that means you want to scan or have the watch list to be scanned towards bullish or the bearish side so you can select bull for example another example over here is show text output which means the output what you see over here this is a result of the screening logic what it basically says is i am getting on five minutes time frame which is bullish strategy since i have selected i have selected icmc breakout right now i had selected icmc breakout and on that i am getting dr ready and along with this i am also getting the cci information this means if i go to dr ready i would be able to see icmc breakout live which is happening right away so over here i can see an ic and an mc over here so this makes it very easy for me to identify things in real time let's go further and see what all the screener else can help us with so it's loading all the information so right now we saw the same logic similarly we can have a text output so it can be very easy because this part would be fixed if we have a table or tabular outcome but at times there are too many stocks which can be screened according to a strategy and we would like to have a simple view which all is movable so in this case we'll just switch to another template which is the text template so over here if you see i have the same information but it is text so it is movable right now similarly if i click over here again i come back to my regular template and i want to check where the tiny ic's are being formed on 5 minutes similarly i can have different logics over here which are coded and you can select any screener of your choice at a time only one screener would work so that the processing is swift fast and more effective over here if you see initially we saw the logic as bull and bear then the text output or a tabular output over here what we are seeing another part is the type of screening logic or the strategy which we want to do so this is the complete list it can give you icmc tiny ic open analysis gap candle count psr trespassing itbs swing screener momentum screener which is cci based open peak screener 
apart from this you can select the list of stocks or indices or segments whichever you want to scan so for example if you are looking for btc usd you can just click over here you can apply to btc usd that will be scanned for all these strategies similarly it could be crude oil or gold silver natural gas or any other indices which are supported by trading view platform so over here you can put the list of stocks or the information and those will be scanned later on you can also customize where you would like to have this panel available for now i have kept it on the top but probably i might want to keep it in the center so i can just align it very easily settings are extremely simple and they help you analyze the stocks more easily live in real time so over here now we shall be going to another part of the screening which is tiny ics so let me enable tiny ics over here and i am on the screener now let it load the information so this information has come in the middle since i have updated it so i have moved it to the center from here top center so it has just moved to top center i just move it to uh, on the right side then that can be done as well similarly now if you see over here itc on 5 minutes time frame is currently giving a tiny ic is it correct information first let's see itc over here i have itc let me enable nimlety tracker or yeah also i can enable icmc breakout indicator which provides this information so voila we are able to detect tiny ics on itc on 5 minutes over here based on tiny ic screener on top you will be able to see the time frame you will able to see the information if it is bearish or bullish or it can be the type of screener so for tiny ics we don't have bearish of bullish basically it's the level which is being breached high or low that is how we would trade it so for rest of the screeners bearish and bullish would be equally applicable similarly now let's come to another stock or let's see where all the gap up happened so out of the stock which i have added i would be able to see gap up on 5 minutes time frame based on some logic so this logic is now coded and available in the screener so over here i did not get any information that means i did not qualify this particular screening available on gap up so let's go to a different time frame let's go to a daily time frame and see where the gap up actually happened the same thing would be valid for bearish stocks as well so we have reliance over here let me go to reliance quickly and let's try to check so we see a gap up this is the high and this is the open and we see there's a gap over here which has been screened in real time so this is on daily time frame it is a bullish screener for gap similarly i can have a bearish scan as well so whatever stocks have open or done a gap down i would be able to identify this list is available over here so i can see dr reddy i come to dr reddy over here and i can see over here that this was the previous low and this is the open so there is a gap over here which is uh, evident but this is screened with the screener directly similarly let's go to some other strategies let's go to psr and see where psr is reversing right now on a daily time frame or maybe let's take another time frame as 60 minutes i am on a hourly time frame and i would be able to see some information of the list of stocks which are giving the information so the screener is working right now it is processing the information and i do not see any bearish psr screening over here similarly let's go on the bull side and see some other screening for trace passing on hourly basis so i am expecting on a 60 minutes time frame for bullish if i am getting a trace passing entry so this would be scanned live and it will keep on updating you along with the information of the stock the cci value and the cmp as well at times the cmp and the entry would be different that means it scanned it earlier and currently you are already moved in that particular strategy at times these could also be same
because that is the point you are trying to enter. Similarly, let's now come to JSW Steel. Okay, so over here, if you see, there is a strength candle. This is another strength candle, and this is a candle which is within the body of the previous candle. It can be either open within the body itself, and that is why it was screened. And this is on hourly basis, so I can easily screen the information. Now let's see some other screener. For example, we would like to check how the impulse is working on a daily time frame. So I will come to a daily time frame right now and see where we are getting the impulse alerts. So over here, BPCL. Okay. So let's enable BPCL over here. So what you see over here is a low which was formed and the previous high that has been breached. And this, according to on this particular time frame, had been a lower low and then a high has been reached. Similarly, if you come to INFI as a stock, which is also scanned over here on bullish for daily impulse, you would be able to see that there's a low which is formed over here and the previous high has been breached. And because of this reason, it has qualified for the impulse. Similarly, for NTPC, you would be able to get the information on daily time frame. There was a lower low and off recent, there has been a close above the previous high, which is the condition we are tracking in impulse. Similarly, let's go on the bear side if we find any alerts over there with respect to impulse. So Dr. Eddie, as we already checked, we'll check it again now with impulse. So over here, a recent high had been formed and a fresh low has been created going below the previous low. So that is the reason for impulse formation on daily time frame. The same will be applicable to any other time frame as well. Let me double click over here and try to identify where we can get a information for candle counts. Candle counts are basically trend changers or sentiment changers. So that is giving you an information of how the candles have moved quickly from a sell to buy or buy to sell. Let's see over here what information we may get. And uh, apart from this, what we can also do is to check on the bull side. And we may change the time frame as well to five minutes. OK, we got some logic over here on daily basis. We got Adani ports as bullish sentiment change. So let's go to Adani ports. And if I enable over here the CCI, so we would be able to see that on daily time frame, which is this time frame, I have changed the sentiment of recent so sentiment was sell over here if you track the orange line and right now it is 123 so from here to here if you calculate the candle count is very less and that is the reason the sentiment has changed or reversed as we call it now let's come to a 30 minutes time frame and try to see where we can get a bullish sentiment change So the screener is loading right now and processing the information. Once the information is processed, it will be updated very quickly. But in case you are changing a screener, it may take a few seconds to update itself with the live information. So Reliance over here also gave a 30 minutes bullish sentiment change. That means now it turned from bearish to bullish on a 30 minutes time frame. Let's go to Reliance. So over here, again, if we try to see the information for CCI 3430, which is on 30 minutes time frame, it has crossed above 100 and off recent that was not the case. So that is why it has been qualified simply by checking on the screener. Let's check CIPLA again. Over here, again, if you see it was minus 100 over here and now it is plus 100. And that is the reason it has qualified on a 30 minutes time frame. So as we see, the screener helps you identify stocks on basis of different strategies. And this is on real time. You can update and use any screener which you like and provide a feedback based on the information processed. 
I would be happy to read your feedbacks. Thank you so much.